Hello, welcome. My name is Afroth, and this is Resident Evil 2 Revelations for the PC. Uh, in our last episode, we started the uh, first part of Barry's Chapter 2, uh, in which we're following in the footsteps of her, of his daughter, Myra, who Natalia stated is dead. Uh, we are currently making our way to the tower, which is destroyed in Barry's uh, time part. You know, where, where Barry's at in the timeline, uh, which I believe is like four months or something like that. Um, I thought. Resident Evil. I thought that uh, I was playing it on easy, but it actually turns out that we are on survival, so cool. So yeah, we're just going to pick off where we left off. We just made it into the, the city proper. Which, Previously on Revelations you don't need to see this. Which, if I'm being honest, uh, the transition doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, like, I feel like you would see the, the, the city, you know, from where they were at, but I don't know. It's a pretty big city for just like having, you know, this is, this is a pretty big place. But anyways, nitpicking aside, I'm still enjoying, I, I'm still enjoying the Revelation games. I understand there may be a part three on the way. So that is also equally exciting. So it does look like there is one up there as far as been really light on enemies though on in this run so far. Oh, speaking of enemy, some over there. I feel like she just pulled that out of the ground. I tell you what. So it's right. I was hoping she would slide down. Although she's walking up this slide. Get this thing. Uh, there we go. Well, looks like I'm not getting that brick back. All right. Not to mention, how would you get cars here, too? And a bus. Like, this doesn't seem like a remote fishing village. Disinfectant. Oh, 
Oh, for fudge's sake. The monster is coming. Nice. Good shot, kid. I should arm her. Over there. Nice. So I can kill them with her brick. Dang it, dude. What is with the brick going in the places I can't grab it again? I have no idea where I'm even at now. That one's upstairs. Go through that way. Well, just in case, uh, 8th of November 20, 2009, the latest mock moved us even closer to the real test. Uh, this time, 11 candidates were fitted with the sensor bracelets that subjected to extreme emotional stress for varying lengths of time. Results three died immediately. The remaining eight eventually mutated at some point or disposed of. The trial ended with none of the subs overcoming their fear.
All right, I wanted to see if it was so if it was gonna make me play that dumb game. All right, so we are gonna have to see the. Stay there. Gotcha. That's right. I'm... Making the rules. The problem is I can't see anything. Well, that's actually really freaking creepy. be like all right well let's see this again come with me sorry can't So I'm not sure what this room is for then. hit it with the brick so and of course now I can't get my brick back come with me coming That's okay.
damage. This is where I met Moira. Good. Let's pick up the pace. Okay, well. Written in Russian. Things have changed so much since she came here. Our Zabjetja... Zabij... I don't know. Is almost like a completely different island now. There's new equipment in the mines and the jobs. Not just laborers, but she's employing people as researchers as well. There are so many employment opportunities. I cannot express my gratitude for her deeply enough. Despite this, there are those who doubt her. Such ingrates. If you don't like it, you're always free to leave this place. All right, well, hey, look at that. A big toilet. Hey, look, there's some toilet paper, though. Who's there? Keep it down. from the other side. Brandon Russian, your father hasn't come home at all since going to the monument. I tried to wait, but I can't do it any longer. I've gone off to look for him. I was feeling pretty anxious, but everyone there was so nice to me. They told me something nasty was going around, so they gave me a preventative shot. And this bracelet that they said would help protect me. This place is so large and wondrous, I've never seen anything like it. Of course, this is probably no big deal for her. She saved our island. I'm starting to feel like she can do anything. I regret ever having doubted her. I suppose it's nothing, but I've been feeling a bit dizzy. Maybe I'm just stressed. Oh, and I finally found your father. Well... Part of him, anyway. I always knew he had a good head on his shoulders. Now that's all that's left of him. I can't possibly bring him back like this. This bracelet has been making strange sounds. It's a little annoying, but don't worry. I'm going to find the rest of your father and we're coming home. He must be so hungry. What? Like, he's had a good head on his shoulders. That's what I'm bringing home. All right, that's locked. Really, I'm already full up. All right, locked. In. Transfer some of this over. She's got an empty bottle. I'll see. I was full. How did that clear out two space? Uh oh. Never mind. It's getting closer. Nope. I gotta run.
Look at this. More parts. Okay. Well, might as well go back and put whatever that was. Clear that part up. Capacity. Actually, right now, because what I can do that pass, pass, pass. All right, let's go, dear. Well, okay, I mean, I guess if she brought, I guess, I, I guess I don't have the drill. Um, oh, hey, look at this. What's this? Odorous chemical. Oh, how the hell am I supposed to... It's dead. I'll have to find another way. That's the larva we're killing. <sighs> well. Okay, well, uh, try number two, I guess. Got killed by the instant kill in the hallway. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Do you want this? Let's pass that. Pass that. Okay. This is where I met Moira. Good. Let's pick up the pace.
Now that we got those, let's go run back. Capacity and damage. So I put the capacity on this, and then the damage on that, and that. Yeah. All right. So we're good there. We're good there. Fast. All right. Okay, we can't go this way. Oh, there's some odorous chemicals. Like I mentioned, uh, it looks like we get the drill if we kill Pedro, but you now I don't know where Pedro's at, so... I figured he would have been in the village proper. Alright, but there is this guy up here. This is where I die it's really hard when you can't see him in the stairwell. Like it's not insta killing. Coming. I'm gonna have to upper damage on the brick, I think. Alright, let's not go all the way up yet. So this is written in Russian. Your father hasn't come home at all since going to the monument. I tried to wait, but I can't do it any longer. I've gone off to look for him. I was feeling pretty anxious, but everyone there was so nice to me. They told me something nasty was going around, so they gave me a preventative shot and this bracelet that they said would help protect me. This place is so large and wondrous, I've never seen anything like it. Of course, this is probably no big deal for her. She saved our island. I'm starting to feel like she can do anything. I regret ever having doubted her. I suppose it's nothing, but I've been feeling a bit dizzy. Maybe I'm just stressed. Oh, and I finally found your father. Well, part of him anyways. I always knew he had a good head on his shoulders. Now that's all that's left of him. I can't possibly bring him back like this. This bracelet has been making strange sounds. It's a little annoying. But don't you worry. I'm going to find the rest of your father and we're coming home. You must be so hungry. I think that need a little like, you know, dates or time, but super messed up. So I wonder if that's why they're like all taped together. Locked from the other side. Job. Uh. <sighs> the 
see if she can do it. Yeah! Good job, girl. Alright. Well, I don't have a brick anymore, but that's alright. Alright. So can't go that way. Go up. This way. I have to lead the way. It's a helicopter. This is where it crashed. Wait. <laughs> well, that's one hell of a parking job. <gasps> I'm actually surprised it stayed intact. All right, let's pass. Pass this. Combine with that. Do this. That will give us that smelly stuff. Want to come up in this door? <laughs> hey, where you at? Is it on this one? Or am I just. He's 
got like a super weak spot. But I can't. You're doing good! Fuck. <sighs> Should give us a whole lot of options. Well, then, yeah, I kind of want to go back here. Because there was that one in that. On the bottom floor here. Why can't I use it as a weapon? Okay, there's that one. Let's take a stock. So we're out of almost out of healing. That's okay. Oh, I can't go back. Oh, well, there's no oh well. Okay, we'll get it some other time, I guess. Uh, was that all that was at the top? I guess we should check. So my theory is, is that this island was the uh, island that one of uh, the um, the experiments from the uh, DLC, what he was talking, what they were talking about. Yeah, it, it, the name escapes me from RE5. The Nightmares. Lost the Nightmares, I think it was. But yeah, when you're reading the letter, it's about all of... Uh, Wesker's brothers and sisters, the other one that was still alive, the sister. She was doing those experiments and then, you know, we kept sending him people and... I thought it was the... Um... Resident Evil Survivor, but it does not.
the hell does she go? Oh, she's coming. Okay. This guy's got the same exact bracelet as you. Moira had one too. Like sisters. What kind of f messed up experiment was this? Man, I'm having, like, Barry's is easier. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Claire is just having just one heck of a run. I mean, that boss that she had to fight was ridiculous. Me and Moira got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. Nice guy? The one from Terra City who rescued me. I wonder if Moira made it to the tower. She made it. Come on. Let's see what we can find. Boss, that. Tower. I wonder if that burnt up uh, corpse there was the uh, pilot from the helicopter. I remember him getting stabbed though. This place has changed. Yeah, pretty creepy, huh? Clinical experiment notes, 24th of January, 2010. Trials for the T. Phobos virus are almost complete. We've managed to reduce the lethality of the T virus while creating the condition that it triggers upon the target being subject to strong emotional trauma. We also have lowered the rate of viral resistance to below 2%. All this proceeding is planned. However, the time draws near. We're close to perfection, but there is zero margin for error. I mean... 
There are those skulls. Oh, uh, what? Whoa, this is a lot creepier than I thought. The hell? Parting words to my dear father. You poor, decrepit old man. You wanted to create a new world and rule over the world as a god? But for all your ambitions, you couldn't overcome man's most formidable enemies. Age and disease. You had everything, but your crumbling body betrayed you. And then your own son snuffed out whatever pitiful entrails of life you had left, leaving you to become nothing more than a footnote in the annals of history. You failed, old man. But fear not, your dream will live on. I will take the wealth of knowledge, power, and test subjects you have given me, and succeed where you failed. I will create the new world, and I will rule over it as a god. Your legacy will have been long forgotten, but mine has only just begun. May your soul, if you ever had one, rot in torment for all eternity, and let hell be filled with the sound of your teeth gnashing incessantly. Well, that answers that question. Wow. This is freaking weird. Oh look, there's just a random bike. <laughs> oh look, another bike. Wesker? That is Wesker. Alex Wesker. Two Weskers? You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> so you finally came. Next time on Revelations 2. Wait. This is Moira's. No. No sign of her. Ugh. Of course this factory had to be a fucked up factory. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. It's got all our names on it. I'll crush you. Where did we go wrong? Where's Moira? <laughs> Thank you.
All right, well, it's episode two contemplation done. Unlock countdown episode two and invisible episode two. Unlock secret file number four. We'll get that next time. Sharpshooter. All right, so we got A, A, and then B. It's power and one retry. Uh, wow, I didn't get like any medals though. Let's see, we had to defeat I Revenant with only hitting their weak spots. If you didn't meet Pedro by destroying all his eyes, I think I only had one left. Hit enemies with Natalia Brooks 15, 15 times. Defeat two enemies with a follow up attack. The enemies with sub weapons. And... Alright, well. A five remnant using self attacks in the city warehouse. Well, anyways, looks like I'm down. Also missed two bugs. I think I missed one. I think there's one in the. Uh, there's one that you have to kill Pedro with Claire and then. Whatever, but. Yeah. But, anyways. Uh, well, that's the end of episode two. Uh, so, I guess. You know. Like I said, I'm enjoying the Revelation series as a whole. I think story-wise, they're really good. Uh, I mean, it's more Resident Evil-ish than, like I said, 5 and stuff, and it does fill in some gaps and some other things. Uh, and, you know, at least in Resident Evil 5, they did try to kind of set the stage for this, so I do appreciate that. But, um, yeah. Well, with that being said, friends, I hope that you are enjoying the series as well as always i do thank you all for watching and until next time stay true to yourself follow your hearts and i'll see you then bye bye